All right, I started taking this chalet clock apart again. I'm no clock maker. But this one is so gummed up, whatever. I, I'm guessing we just got this at an antique, I mean, not an antique, a yard sale. But I mean, if you can see that green gunk in there, I mean, this thing is so gummed up. It looks like it would work pretty much everything and I mean look at look at this I mean it's got like green you can see that so I'm gonna research what to clean this with I don't know if this is fixable or not but I mean look at the look at the was that oil on that on that wheel there? No, right, I don't have a tripod, so I'm just. But this thing is so gummed up. I mean, if you can see in here, I mean, even on my fingers. And I haven't heard this music box chime since I got it. But I just, I thought it was completely broken, but I just sat here messing with it. And you can see the little thing. This camera sucks. There it goes. But you see the gum on that wheel? Once I find a cleaner that I can put, if you can see the chain wheel there, I mean, it is like pancake syrup in there. So I don't know if somebody just sprayed in here or what this is. But anyway, I think I can dump this. I've made notes of putting it back together. And I think this will work. Even that little plastic gear there. Crap. See that little plastic gear? All that appears to be intact. But you can see that green all over that little fan blade thing. But it, it was just completely seized. It's the first movement I've gotten out of it. So no telling what that's going to play. And that stops it. Anyway, that's cool. Keep you posted. All right, I know this isn't the proper cleaning, but this mechanism came out of that music box cuckoo clock I got out there that was so gummed up. I mean, it looked like it had green pancake syrup in it. You can still see some where I'm... See up in there, I'm just taking a toothpick. I tried simple green and I just put ammonia in here. I've got some of the parts out of here, but I don't really want to disassemble the whole thing so I've just been pretty much cleaning it with this ammonia see it's still got that green stuff that's a lot better but I'm gonna continue on this path and then get all that green out of there and then blow dry it rinse it good blow dry it and then maybe oil it and just see how it does before putting it back together I got a headlamp on this one trying to get the light on it all right if you can see this here this is a I've got this whole cuckoo clock mechanism I'm working on but I'm a total novice and when I got it which I've taken this thing completely apart I just ordered this little governor to replace all the only camera I have is this little GoPro I don't know if this will even focus this is what came out of here I've taken the little gear out because it was so corroded and jammed up and I ordered this one because you could still get them but the frame was taller and I just dremeled this off of here 
but now it'll fit in here but now I need to drill out these holes the original one was slotted so I can move it up and down this one's in totally different spots so I need to slot these out plus I need to clean this music box this thing had this green this I've cleaned it some I took all this comb off which is not adjusted properly but you can see that this will now that I dremeled this spot off the holes don't line up but it will fit up in there somewhat So anyway, that's a start. And I also got some of this cleaner from the same place. So I'm debating whether I need to go get a ultrasonic cleaner because I don't feel comfortable taking the whole thing apart. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean and mess around with that and see if I can't get that working. Alrighty. ain't real accurate but looks like it's working I marked with the etching I made a little template of the other one and made a little etching mark where I need to slot and that's what I'm doing <laughs> miraculous this isn't necessarily working but that was so inaccurately done because I took my old my old one here and I just put it on a piece of paper like this and marked out my holes like that and then I took it on the new one and set it on there and made some scratches until I could with this Dremel point here because I don't have a drill press, but I See how I slotted that just where it will get in there And again, this still needs to be cleaned and all that but I mean I can't believe it even lines up There's my other cuckoo. My wife bought two of them, and that one I got running. This one's so gummed up. I think this is too tight. A lot of tweaking on these to get them just right obviously and I'm no repair person there it goes see the spinning thing there well, I don't want to jam there Anyway, that's not right, but that does show that you can cut. This was off of timekeepers. And again, I had to cut off this top piece because it kept it from sliding under here like the original one that was a lot shallower right there. So anyway, this isn't right because this all needs to be cleaned and this mechanism needs to be cleaned, but 
at least that will work. Now I'm going to clean all this and work on the rest of it. Maybe, you know, there's a chance of getting this thing back together. Alrighty, keep you posted. The one I'm working on is that one over there in the corner that has a music box. So I hated to go spend 80 bucks at Harbor Freight, but I just did because this one is so gummed up. I've already probably a no-no, but I've put it in Dawn. I tried a little bit of ammonia. So anyway, I ordered some of this. And it says put it one to seven and it says you can put it in hot which this actually has a heat function but i just heated up some water it got a little too hot it says from 120 to 150 and that's on right at 150. all right just to recap this i had bought this governor and modified it to fit in here cutting off it had this extra piece over here that I dremeled off and then I slotted the screw holes out similar to this original one so I could move it back and forth and I just put it in an ultrasonic cleaner that I just bought I just went and bought one at Harbor Freight specifically for this clock and another one But I halfway have this comb, which I took off. But I mean, this is a fine line of getting this thing lined up in here. And then this goes back on here. Let's see if I can. And you actually put the washer on first to act as a spacer and then put this on and you got to get it See how it moves. You got to get it lined up where it'll have you know full range of movement. And then this, I forgot how this went back on here. Oh uh, yeah, it goes on from here. catches but you have to have it I don't know if any of this is showing up but you have to have it where it's going to clear that something on the order of that okay see it caught right there and then well, that's a tough disengagement, so maybe that's not it. Probably needs to be adjusted some more. that feels pretty decent all right now here's the movement and it, it was so gunked up but I did dunk it in dawn and all this other stuff and then I did buy a ultrasonic cleaner and put the whole thing which you can see that some of that kind of tarnish I did rinse it off in warm water afterwards so I don't know what but I mean it, it definitely got the gunk out of there and I haven't oiled it or done anything. I haven't taken anything apart. 
but I've just hooked it up here. Now I'm not, it can't, this one, and I just kind of have it sitting here with nothing, but see that mechanism is that smooth. There's no oil or anything. That's just cleaned. So that's a good sign. And I'm going to video this more just for memory because I've got another clock up here ticking that's working, but the rack needs to be taken off because it only cuckoos once. You know, if it's four o'clock, it only cuckoos once. So this one, I'm taking this, I'm going to go for it on this one. I have cleaned this whole thing. But in case I don't remember what the hell I'm doing here. I'll, okay. Because you obviously, after cleaning them, need to probably oil back in this mechanism because if that rack isn't working just right, then it isn't going to cuckoo just right. Obviously, remember how the hell you're taking it off. Okay, this has to come off here. Try to do this in order. Now this, got this little deal here. All right, this is what I need to do on that clock up there because this is probably needs cleaning does that come out to? Which this does look pretty darn clean for just. That feels like plastic. That gear's plastic. This is a. Probably not a real old movement here. So I don't really know what you would clean this with. I'm going to probably put some oil on that. Now the whole thing looks pretty darn clean for, you know, just being uh, cleaned in an ultrasonic. If you just seen how gunked up it was. These need any oil or not, but I'm gonna put a dab on there. I mean that's metal on metal. I think that need a little bit. Could be mistaken, I'll take it apart if so. There, that 
just seated back down there. That looks right. This is the one that kind of thing that goes pyong, takes off across the room, but let's see. Oops, snap right on. And see there's some of that green crap right there that was on the whole clock. If you can see that, see that right there? That's what the whole clock was covered in. See that right there? So that ultrasonic did get pretty good. Again, I don't know if you're supposed to oil this. It's metal on metal, so I wouldn't. I would certainly think you would. this thing gets lined back up. Right there, maybe it just does like that. That would be counting down. Now, I don't know if there's a way that this is supposed to be lined up or if it self lines it up. And it gets to the end. Bunk. That looks pretty good. Now, I could probably take this gear off, but I mean, that's amazingly clean for that little ultrasonic. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to come in here. Because there's really not that I mean there's nothing in these things I'm sure if I took the whole thing apart but I would I'm sure mess up more so you can see some down in there that that thing didn't get there's some of that green gunk but for now I'm just going to oil it and see if it works again this is like 1040 synthetic motorcycle oil. that one if you were going to bush one I don't know anything about doing it but that one's got some play in it Thirty dead on. That one's been running for about three weeks when we got these clocks. I know this is like watching paint dry, but I'm gonna obviously edit out some of this.
one side, taken out these other pieces here. And again, this is for Mr. Perry and Ask, or Just Mike, excuse me. This is the long one. It goes down here on the bottom, and it just fits in here like this. See how that little thing catches in the notch? Boom. Same with this one. Boom. Long one to the bottom. And then the gong. And this one's got a spring on it. I might have to go back and see where the where the spring went. Holy cow, I was trying to get this music box back in here. Well, you, this one, if you can see this, the music box is screwed in. There's one, This one does not have a gear. This has got this one loop of chain here. So you have to put it around that. The music box is loose. So then you I just wedged it up in there like that and it looks like the screw holes lined up and I've got I'm trying to remember I took this thing apart a month ago and I got this tray of screws here and I've got my little directions where I wrote the way that the chain goes which trying to decipher this it looks like these screws are all the same but that looks is wedged in there this it, it, I don't know if you can even see that this wheel here is wedged up behind the cuckoo the hole if you can see that there's the screw hole right there. So that's good. And there's the other one. And it, I can't tell if that's... And then once you do that, I took that little door off. And then you have the other chain where the weights are hooked to this one. So if I can get these in... And That'll be a start to see if that might. And that's actually in. I'm sure this will be the type of thing that you got to do this about three or four times. Plus, I don't even. There's the other screw hole back behind the chains. actually in and I'm sure this is too good to be true that that's a good sign And you just heard it lock in place. There's the lock. And then when you put the mechanism in here, this, this thing right here hits that somehow in the mechanism. But anyway, we're going to, that's friggin' awesome. I 
trying to get this music box back in here if you can see that hooked around this chain I had it on the wrong chain the first time Matter of fact, that's the wrong chain. This chain needs to go here because the pull chain needs to go on this one because this one does not freewheel in order to pull the chain up and down. So I need to put that on the other one, which is just a, should be just a matter of. Oh, there's the screw. Now it's on the first one, first wheel. And that's important because of the two wheels. You can see this. I had it on that one, put the whole thing together, but you can't pull the chain with, with the weight up because only this one free wheels. This one does not. So again, I'm sure this will be one of those things you got to do it about 10 times to get it right if you ever do that, if I do. And then again, that's this weird screw that doesn't have a slotted head on it, it just threads in here. Maybe that has something to do with the harmonics or something, I have no idea. That's how it was though. See, there's really nothing to tighten that one up with. Maybe, maybe that's why. So you can't tighten it, but so tight. That should be in there. So now you can put the chain on here. I already put the whole thing back together one time. Personally, I've never heard of the song it plays, but that's what it is. And again, I might, I, whether it gets back together or not, I have redone this whole music box and it does work. I'm pulling that so of course it's faster than it's supposed to be. And then it 
stops. Alrighty, now we'll put the mechanism in and see if this will work. I don't know if this is even getting videoed. And here's this. I've already put the chains on. Let's see if they stay on. Again, these things are the epitome of the limp octopus syndrome here. Stick that up in there. This is about time something falls off or does something after you get it all back together. These holes aren't even, oh hell, I gotta take that hook off. if the damn thing worked like that. I don't even know if this camera's focusing on what I'm doing, but I'll just edit whatever's not, so we'll see. See down in there. I got a little headlamp. Had one from when I used to climb up under the house to do plumbing or something. This thing actually works decent. Now, of course, this is, there's no way this thing's going to work. It's got to be once you get all this meticulously put in, that's when you're going to realize, or I am rather, there's one thing I didn't do. 
Now I don't know what that little arm is. Seems like something goes on that arm, but I don't think I have any more parts. That's the movement chain. Good sign. I'm going to just film this in case this somehow miraculously works. And if it doesn't, I'll just delete it. But I'm putting these chains back on here. I even have a. I've already got the camera back together. I mean, the camera, the clock. I don't need to put the rings on. Let's just put the hooks on. I've even made a note. Ring, hook, ring. So this would be hook. enough room down here if you can see this but let's see and I just put the hands on I have no idea where anything is I just stuck them on there and there's the little screw plus I don't even know if the okay it already stopped might not be level. This is the first time it's ever run. I think that wire looks kind of bent for one. The door he's hitting up there. That's one thing that needs to be adjusted. not on the tail for one. I mean the tail is there's a thing that kicks the tail up and it's not under it. Okay, maybe it just needs to be cocked. Did you see that? I just angled it, and there it goes. So let's see. It should be 1 o'clock. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I need to move him over. Maybe I need to adjust the rack, obviously, because I guess it's perpetually 12 o'clock. Okay, no, 
Okay, that's one o'clock. There we go. Maybe I counted wrong and it was 11 the first time. Let's see if this is two. If it is, now I need to work on the Sweet. Okay, so now I need to move the bird over because it's hanging up. It runs good at this angle, and whatever the reason that the. Let's see. All right, this isn't perfect here, but this is. It is working, but there's something kind of jamming up with the music box. But sometimes you kind of got to cock them to the side. That appears to be working. But I don't... I had to bend the little thing that hits the music box, and so I think it's engaging it too soon. the time set right obviously at least it's cutting off though so let's see what time that was I forgot hell I'm just glad it's working I've been through this whole thing a slight jam in the music box I rebuilt. Three o'clock. Plus I don't have the vibe on there. amazing they you can get that much sound out of that well I'm pretty pleased with that little tweaking on the music box but Alrighty then, I'm pleased. Keep you posted.